Hey, this is Pete from Abstract Ocean. Today we're going to install some struts for the frunk. Um, we did the trunk um, or boot probably two or three weeks ago. Um, we've had a lot of requests for the frunk as well. So I'm quickly going to show you how to install those. It's pretty straightforward and basically the same technique. Um, but obviously it takes your um, trunk from doing this da -da, to this. This for sure. And there you go. So with that said, we're gonna work on the trunk struts and this shouldn't take too long. Okay, so now we're going to replace the, the factory struts with the, the new ones. Um, in the packet, all you get is a couple of struts. Unlike the ones for the trunk, these don't have like the spring launcher, that's not needed. Um, and again, shout out to Brian at iWantessa, this is all his idea. He's done all the experimenting. Um, but all we're doing is replacing these factory struts. So there were a few concerns that Brian addressed in a fairly um, recent YouTube, kind of a five months later or six months later video. Um, it doesn't cause any additional stress on the, on the lid. It doesn't cause it to bulge or get out of alignment or anything like that. Um, and likewise, it doesn't cause any safety hazards. You cannot open the frunk while the car is in motion. Um, the only way you can is by pressing the emergency release button in the frunk, which would imply you're in the frunk. Um, but if you happen to, to do that somehow, then um, it'll pop open to the second release hatch, the car will start blinking up warnings. Um, so there's really no safety concern. But um, just like the, the trunk, we're replacing hydraulic struts, so you need to be careful. Ideally, you'll have another helper to kind of hold the, the trunk up while you're working on it. Um, and if not, you need to prop it open with a piece of wood or something like that. Um, you know, these are holding up a pretty heavy piece of metal, so as soon as they're removed, um, the metal gets heavy. So just take that, um, just be a little bit careful when you're doing that. So with that, we're going to grab a screwdriver. Let me move this up here a little bit real quick. And we're just going to, so we're on the left side of the car at the moment, just going to slide that in there. Just release that. Let's do it from the bottom, be easier. Okay, you don't need to remove it all the way. I'm gonna do the same with the bottom one. A little bit fiddly down here because we've got the, the car trim in the way, but you can get to it easily enough. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pop this one off slide this around a little bit just to help get to it a little bit easier. Again, make sure you're holding the frunk uh, with a sturdy piece of wood, a friend, your partner, or your head, which is not recommended. Okay, so off comes the, the factory strut. On goes this one. So this bit's super easy, you just need to snap it on. So we're going to do the bottom part first. Just get that over the there, pop that on, and then same for this top, top here. All right, that one's on. So you can see we didn't have to make any adjustments. They're not too short, not too long. They're all just the same, so pretty easy. Same thing, grab your screwdriver, pop the top clip off, just enough to release it. And we're going to knock that off. And that gives us easier access to the one down here. Again, you know, using all the right safety precautions, holding the trunk open with something. All right, that's the factory strut off. I just kind of wanted to show on camera. So just um, about half an inch, maybe not even that, 12 mil difference in the height overall. It doesn't cause a problem. Again, snap it on at the bottom. Rotate it around, snap it on top. And that is it. So I'm gonna move the camera. Whew, got dirty hands. Getting dirt all over the Model 3. So we're gonna close this. Okay, it locks as you'd expect. Um, no difference up here at all. This is a pretty early model, Model 3, so 
Um, the body panel alignment was never great anyway, but um, there's no difference there. And then if we just pop the trunk, hit the button, hopefully you're seeing that on camera, can't really tell. Yes, for sure. And there you go. So that's how you install the, the front struts for the Model 3.